www.southernfishingvoice.com. Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with Rock Cod Rick Maxa in the Mighty 1090 studio with a crew from Genren Sport Fishing in Baja's East Cape, Captain Mark Rayer and his chief deckhand, chief deckhand. Jack Neil, <laughs> Nielsen, head photographer. Uh, what else can we say about Jack? Not oh, yeah, he works for Accurate Fishing, too, right? <laughs> He's That's kind of the son. guy that supplies all the reels on the boat. That's he it. Keeps, it's keeps the liquor cl- cabinet cleaned out. Yeah, 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 you don't want things getting I stale. I resemble that remark. <laughs> having a good time talking some fishing here. You're not kidding, man. We're having lots of fun and talking it. And if you want to join us, man, we'd love to hear from you. That's how Let's Talk Hookup works. We want to hear from you, hear your stories, hear your questions. If you want to join us this morning, there's two ways that you can do that. And first is with our local line. That's 858 area code 457-1090. Again, 858-457-1090. Or you can call us toll free. That toll free number 877-792-1090. One more time, 877-792-1090. And again, not only are we talking fishing, talking all the great boats from Genren Sport Fishing, talking all the great accurate products, we've also got an awesome prize for one lucky caller at the end of the show today. Actually, two prizes, as we heard earlier earlier first off being that fantastic set of accurate piranha pliers just as high end of a pair of aluminum pliers a guy could ever want the jaws are removable it's just an awesome awesome tool for your fishing uh, collection and in addition to that another lucky caller is going to win that great book that jack just talked about in the previous uh, segment there tuna smart by robert douglas a very very cool book for all the tuna fishermen out all there all right time to find out what's biting out you there you got Rick. it man it is time to okay, the catch port sponsored part by the sato crimp and winder company where they only make products that Work. If you want to end connection failures, you need the Sato Crimp Kit. It's a must-have piece of gear for your next trip to help you catch everything from school-sized tuna to record-sized tuna. With all brass crimps and other features, it's better than ever. It's the favorite connection method on the Royal Star, the Royal Polaris, the American Angler, and most of the other top boats. And if you haven't already, you should make it your preferred connector from Spectra to Mono or Spectra to Fluorocarbon. You can get it at selected tackle stores like Fisherman's Lining Tackle or at SatoCrimpAndWinder.com. We're going to start it off with our private boater buddy, the man, Captain Mark Wish, has got our FishDope.com report. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Rick, Pete, Jack, Mark. What's happening, Good morning. Joe? Morning. Okay, so this time last week, guys, we had this big old storm coming, a huge northwest wind forecast, and we got it. Uh, this week, man, warm, balmy, northeast breezes. Yesterday I was driving up the coast from Newport. In the afternoon, bright sun, 80 degrees, flat, calm ocean on one side and snow-capped mountains on the other. you got to love Southern California. It's, it's so awesome. cool, dude. It's so <laughs> cool. It's awesome. But, hey, with this nicer weather, we're going to get some good coverage this weekend. Guys will be out rooting around here and there. Catalina, before the wind, that water was 62, 63 around the island there. And a uh, pretty good signal on the school size yellows, uh, mostly backside west there. But that water did drop a couple of degrees, not nearly as much as was expected for as hard as that wind blew. But the uh, fish did scatter out a little bit. But I think with the coverage, some guys will get back on them here this week, and we'll see what happens. Like I mentioned there, Backside West was, was the better area, that deep structure from Cat Harbor to West End. And then uh, at this time of year, traditionally speaking, Backside East from the Vs up to Salta Verde, time to start looking for squid and yellows and sea bass in that zone there also up in the shallows at the island even though it just pretty much washed out with the big swell we've had you know water's dirty all the way around the island that uh bigger calico bass is biting really well mostly up tight in the boilers you got to watch out for the swell guys for sure but uh the guys fishing the plastic doing quite well you want to match the hats the island is loaded with red crabs and uh guess what the oranges and reds are working the best around them calico bass Along the coast, air conditions took a pretty heavy hit with the wind, but it looks like it's starting to bounce back. But prior to that breeze, we had some really good signal on that bigger sea bass, including a 74.2 whopper caught by a kayak guy on a mackerel there off La Jolla. Congratulations. What a fantastic catch. And uh, that La Jolla zone was probably the best zone, but there were some other areas 
scattered along uh, in that south coast area, Salt Creek, and then up off Newport, fish up to 63 uh, scattered around. And the biggest news of all, I opened an email from my fab shop this morning and saw a beautiful black and white picture of our brand new 120 gallon double bait tank coming Ooh. down the pipeline. So, 120 wow. double. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. That's man. a tank. And then probably, actually, I probably misspoke. Probably the biggest news of all is that Ricky's bringing his boat up in a couple of days, and he's getting his new tank. Yeah, in the new park. Tank. Monday morning, we'll have a we'll we'll be done, we'll be baiting in style. Yeah, <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. Wait. Hey, Mark, I might add to that beautiful sea bass that actually one of our listeners caught on his Hobie Mirage Drive kayak is up on our website, hookup1090.com. It's our feature photo of the week. And uh, uh, the gentleman called our show last week. He's a regular with us and, and just couldn't be proud of, of that guy. That thing is a tanker, dude. That, and I on mean, a kayak. That, that fish is so thick. Yeah. I it's mean, it's just, God, what a yeah. great catch. And yeah. he is right, should be rightfully proud, man. Yeah. That's just awesome. Yeah. And so check that photo out if you haven't already. At I, will. Up, I will. Hook up 1090.com. It's on our feature photo of the week right on the front page there. And Mark, fishdope.com has all the information that you need. Uh, I know Danny probably had pictures up there of that fish and uh, where they found it, where they caught it, and all the good and pertinent information. If you want to save $20 on a new membership to fishdope.com, the code is hookup now. Lowercase, no space, hookup now. And if we want to come get our own bait tank or anything else at Pacific Edge, how do we find you, Mark? P, we're in Huntington Beach on the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger, and the phone number is 714. 714- Eight four zero four two six two. the website pacificedgetackle.com, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. All right. I'll see you on Monday. All right, Mark, and see talk you to you next Saturday. <laughs> Appreciate the report. Okay, we'll okay. talk to you guys later. All right, let's head on down now to San Diego over to C4 Sport Fishing and talk to Marcos. Marcos, what's going on there at C4 this morning? Well, since the last time I talked to you guys, uh, we got one trip out. <laughs> Gary on the Lexus went down across the border there, caught some rockfish. He had a you know, decent trip there. He said once that weather came through, it kind of wiped out the week there. We got the new C4 out this morning on the half day, taking a look around. Hopefully things have cleaned up a bit. But pretty uneventful week. Like I said, got some weather come through early. We've got some beautiful weather now. We're running trips. If you're not interested in the Super Bowl, we'll be running half day trips tomorrow. And we're happy to take you guys out there fishing. <clears throat> Coming up next weekend, the Eclipse has a day and a half trip scheduled. If you want to go down the coast, take a look around there. Definitely hop on the website, c4landing.com. Make reservations for that, our half day. The San Diego had to push back their return. They've got a little extra boat work to do there. I'm going to get that boat nice and set up for the season come up here. So, no, not much to talk about. I wish we wish could tell you more. But like I said, we've gotten one trip out since the last time I talked to you. So, seaforthlanding.com. Call us at the office, 619-224-3383. Take advantage of the nice weather we have. Wow. Sounds like uh, it's time. This week could be a really good week. Yeah. Steady yeah. weather. That's what it takes Look, this time I, of year. I mean, it's a typical February day in Southern <laughs> yeah. California. Going to be 80 degrees, flat, calm seas. Are you ready for that, Jack? Oh, God. Well, I'm yeah. going fishing yeah. Monday, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way this, this way this winter's going so far, you might as well take advantage of it because who knows when that weather will come back through and put a stop to the fishing for another week there. Yeah. Heck yeah. Wintertime, stable, steady conditions. You know, good, good condition for several days is what it takes, and we've got a week of that coming. So I, I think it's going to be a good one, Marcos. One more time, shoot us the phone number if somebody wants to give you guys a call and get on one of those great trips. 619-224-3383. Right on. Great report as always, Marcos. Look forward to talking to you next week. Talk to you then, guys. All right. Thanks a lot for All that. All right. Our Northern Baja report from our good buddy Rick Jensen from Sport Fishing Financial. Good morning, Rick. Morning, Mark. Jack, gentlemen. Morning. How you doing, Rick? Morning. Hey, uh, another endorsement for the Gen Ren and Mark's crew down there. You know, we got to go out fishing with those guys last year. On, during the season and uh, and after the experience we had with Sport Fishing Financial, we've got a number of days booked for this season and uh, going to head down and spend some time with Mark and see if he can continue to be up at the 20% of fishermen for us. <laughs> right, right, I knew go. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be looking at that number. I might add, too, is that a reminder, too, is that uh, Rick and Sport Fishing Financial has thrown in a $500 cash prize for our Rancho Leonero as well as our Palmas de Cortez trip for the largest Wahoo or Dorado, right? Absolutely. Yeah, cool. so that's going to be really cool for those. So, uh, And I imagine you'll be fishing on Gen Ren. Yeah, we do have a couple days uh, on Gen Ren during the first trip. Absolutely. That's awesome. Fantastic. Rick. So what's going on in Northern Ba? 
Hey, down in uh, Mag Bay, starting at the bottom again, uh, some big numbers of large schnooks showed up, and that was kind of interesting. Just big fish, big numbers of them, and uh, good fun on those. Didn't get a report offshore. Uh, Mula Hay, a uh, little bit of wind and weather, a little bit, a little bit tough down there for fishing lately. But the locals are predicting uh, improvements, and that winter is going to be over just in time for the Yellowtail Fishing Tournament. The kickoff for that is the 17th, and again, you can get information on that tournament if you're interested at Bloody Decks from Gary Graham, or give me a call for some details. Up at La Bocana, when you get the wind like this, it's always nice that you can tuck into the to the bahia there. And uh, on the light tackle, the spotted bay bass, snapper, grouper, pompano, trigger, uh, you know, calm days. When the calm days are there, you're getting offshore, but haven't really had a report on that. been pretty rough and pretty windy. And for La Bocana, I know tomorrow there's a TV episode where they do show some of that better weather offshore stuff coming up on the local knowledge tomorrow morning early. So you might want to catch that if you're interested in learning more about fishing that area. Up at Bahia and Sancion, um, no reports, high surf, nobody getting out there. Bay of L.A., beautiful weather when the wind's not blowing, but uh, no real reports there again. Up at San Quentin, great yellowtail fishing, ling cods, conditions are still awesome there. And uh, I imagine we're going to hear from Colinette as uh, some of the day and a half and day, two and a half day boats are getting down there again this weekend. Up at Ensenada, bait's been tough, uh, but managing a few yellowtails on the yo-yo iron and... Uh, few link cods there as well. And I know Pete, uh, a caller asked last week about Gonzaga Bay and San Felipe, and this time of year, there's just not a whole lot going on there with the wind. Um, I know at this end of the month, there's going to have a score 250 off-road race, and I know you can enjoy that and a couple of fish tacos if the fishing isn't good, so get down there and give us a report and see if anything's happening. It's usually pretty windy, though. <laughs> Sounds good, like good fun. Call. Oh, Grick, well, great report for you, and of course, if somebody wants to talk fishing or you want to talk finances, Rick Jensen is the guy, and uh, Rick, uh, how do we find you? On the landline, 949-481-1807, or on the web at sportfishingfinancial.com. And uh, are we ready to talk about uh, your uh, seminar yet? Yeah, you know, we did get a date for that. April 5th, uh, Bill Boyce and I and Brandon Hayward are going to be aboard the uh, Pacific Provider, and that's at Kona Kai Marina. They're in for some repairs, and there's so much exciting stuff going on on that boat. So it's going to be a great venue. We're going to get some of the local fish vendors in there and uh, get on board, take a tour of the boat, uh, enjoy some fresh seafood and learn about what I can do to help people with their finances. Bill will fill some people in on what's happening with the Dollar Fishing Club. And Brandon will probably have a nice story to tell and some nice photos about our California bite fishing. Yeah. And so how does somebody get in on that seminar? You know, we're just perfecting our perfect. We're trying to perfect. Like we're the twenty percenters over here too, Mark. We're perfecting <laughs> our our uh, social media advertisements and and invitations for that. So I'll have that figured out here shortly. But we'll be getting that out to everybody through social media and on our website soon. All right, fantastic, Rick Jansen, Sport Fishing Financial. Talk to you next Saturday. Okay, guys, thanks. All right, appreciate that very much. 877-792-1090, open right now. All right, and that's going to wrap up our catch for today. Again, sponsored in part by Gamakatsu Hooks, Japan's leading fish hook that sets the standard for quality and innovation, strength, and durability. It's the fish hook that sets the standard. It's the right hook for our long-range fishing and the long-range season going on right now, that super Nautilus hook. It's my favorite hook for big fish fishing from Gamakatsu. It's a heavy gauge wire, but not so heavy that it weighs the bait down, but when you uh, when you put that hook with heavy line into a big one, you have that confidence that you know it's coming home. It's got that right design and durability to help you catch your fish of a lifetime. Get Gamakatsu Super Nautilus hooks at your favorite tackle store. All right. Phones are packing up. Let's jump into it. Mike and Rosemead, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Mike, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I believe in one of the Godfather movies, um, these mafia gangsters are torturing a... Uh, uh, a rival gang member, and uh, there's blood and guts everywhere, screaming and yelling, and the guy's near death, and these guys are using a tortilla press. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knows what a dangerous weapon <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know that, Pete. I know. I wasn't really aware get, of it. You really you know? need to your game up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my, my question is for Jack. Uh, you, you guys came out with, a, I believe it's a new model. It's a, pardon the pun, a real small conventional reel now is it on the market now and can you give me any specifics on it yeah that's the uh 
Help me, Rick. The Valiant. The Valiant, Valiant 300. 300. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a, a definitely a smaller version. Very simple um, uh, uh, basic reel, but amazing in, in the drag pressure and the strength of this little reel. It's uh, you can uh, I, I put like 30 pound Spectre on it, uh, up to 65, and fish whatever you want on the thing. And uh, we've had guys. Der- Gary Taraoka had an estimated 150 pound tuna on his recent uh, uh, American Angler trip. Uh, lost the fish because. <laughs> He had too light a leader, but uh, that's the kind of stuff uh, you can do with it. It's super small, but still big power. The reel weighs less than ten ounces, and uh, it's 10 still ounces. Yeah, and it's still a twin drag reel. That's the thing. Right. It's still still twin drag. Each side of the spool, high torque, very very lightweight spool. It's going to be a cool local fly line. It's just it's a it's it a is, bitchin' little reel. It is so much fun. We got to play with some of the prototypes last year. Before they came out on the market, they David brought some down and was testing them, and oh my God, we had fun. And what's the name of the reel once again? The Valiant Three Hundred. Valiant, Valiant Three Hundred, and there'll be different versions of it coming up. Who knows? Maybe at the Fred Hall show. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> you think? I like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks a lot Thank for you. the phone call this morning. You know, uh, Jack, you have a big trip coming up on Monday oh, yeah. with our guest in the studio tomorrow, Captain Frank Lopresti on the Royal Polaris, right? Yeah, I, I am so jonesing and ready to go. Uh, we depart on a, on a ride-down fly-back trip uh, it's Monday. It's a ride-down fly-back. Right, option to... Uh, fly-back on yeah. day 15? Uh, probably. 14, something Somewhere like in the yeah, like distant that. future. A couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like my wife asked me, how long are you going to be gone? I don't know, till I get back, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so the crown runs she's out. fine with that. <laughs> yeah, and, but uh, hard to believe, but we had, uh, Frank tells me we had, we had one last-minute opening on that spot. Oh, wow, yeah. And uh, sure if, if you, you got that time, You want to go on one. Monday with Jack and, and the crew? Frank's run the boat. Frank's running the boat. Yep. I'm going to be there. Uh, the, uh, Jonathan uh, Yamati's there. Wow. Uh, great All-star cast. People, we bring all the gear. So if you um, want to jump on and don't have the stuff, don't worry about it. We got the rods, the reels. We got the line. We got you all hooked up. It, almost like a Gen Ren trip if you go <laughs> with Jack and Accurate because we got it all. So please think about that. And then in April, we're going to do another one uh, on the Shogun. Oh, and a um, that's a great boat, by the way. Yeah, I, I, awesome I've boat. ridden it a couple times now. It's it's uh, wide. It's about, I think it's 92 feet, but 30-some-odd feet and on the beam. And solid. And steel, solid as rock. Steel, steel boat. Steel boat, yeah. yeah. Beautiful thing. But that's April 1. So April 1, and yeah. that's a 15-day S- same uh, fly same, down, yeah. fly back. Fly back. All Jack's trips all Jack, are fly back. All Jack, <laughs> trip, uh, all Jack is fly back. That, well, they have this wonderful thing called airplanes now. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. You can go three days back on the boat, or you can go, you go two hours back on an airplane. I like Jack's style, man. I'm in on that. <laughs> that would so be call, a cool trip. Call Lopresti, Dunn, or Lopresti Sport Fishing, right. 619-226-8030. Grab that spot on Monday, or jump on with Jack in April. Right. You get exactly. around, John. I like it, man. <laughs> hey, try. speaking of the Royal Polaris, look who's on the line. Captain Roy Rose. Good morning, Roy. Hey, good morning. How you guys doing over there, Pete? Rick? Roy boy. Uh, <laughs> hey, Roy boy. Is that Jack? <laughs> That's Jack. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I recognize the voice. I know. I'm getting, you know, the years are going by. You know how it is. <laughs> your, your ears yeah, yeah. must have been burning. We were just talking about Jack's trip with Frank on Monday. Oh, yeah, no, but maybe that's why I was able to finally get in here. We've had technical difficulties, but uh, anyway, we ended up scraping up a nice trip. We got 17 guys on here, uh, this Jerry Brown trip. We ended up with uh, 208 yellowfin tuna and 189 wahoo. Uh, We ended up with seven fish over two. One of them was taken. uh, The largest one was a uh, 335. And that was caught on one of Jack's accurate 30s. Amazing. <laughs> you know, it held up very nice, Jack, Thank just you. so you know. Thank Everything you. worked Thank out you. fine. Cool. And then the 289, we got another one, 289. That was caught on, again, one of Jack's accurate 30s. Again, that reel held up nice. <laughs> so you're doing good, Jack. You're still homing in the big one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank very you. nice. Thank you. Now, when are you pulling in with the Royal Polaris, Roy, and showing off this catch? Uh, we'll be in tomorrow. We'll be in there about six thirty, quarter to seven, or something like that. 
and the boat will be in for a night, and then we're going to get everything ready for Jack and his exit trip. Could you get room? It out. Could you get room two all cleaned up and swept out for me, please? <laughs> You got it. I'll have Chris take care of it. We'll get the mints out in the pillow for you the whole night. Yeah, nice. Put some, uh, put some nice sardines in the end of the yeah. pillow, too, for us, would you please? Not <laughs> nice. Not nice. There you go. Hey, Roy, well, great trip. Awesome. If you want to see some big fish, a nice haul, check out the Royal Players at Fisherman's Landing tomorrow morning. And if you want to go with them on Monday, call a... Royal yeah. Players office and get on that come trip. Come with, come with. Nice to hear from you, Roy. Thanks a lot. Congratulations on a great trip. Safe ride home. All right, we'll see you later. You have a Thanks, good day. See you, Roy. Right. Appreciate that. Bart Hall, Fred Hall show coming up. What's what's the countdown? Uh, to, uh, uh, like four weeks? Is that right? Um, I, I don't know. I think the last <laughs> day off we had was about forty days ago, and I'm not ever sure what day it is, except when the weekend comes. I know it's Saturday or Sunday because I can listen to you. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. I, I, got a, I got a complaint today because you know here I am cooking breakfast. I want to be entertained. I love listening to Mark. But who's that other guy you got on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who's the other yeah, duck? We just, we just found some guy. Hey, he's the assistant director of the cigar tent. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got yeah. a promotion, Bart. Do you hear about that? <laughs> what is that? I'm a sister. Well, promotion. Yes, you did. Absolutely. <laughs> I heard that. That's now, right. I have a picture of us, Jack, you and me, enjoying a cigar. I think we have a drink with ice in our hands. Could happen. Uh, so, so we're not catching fish, and we're on a boat. I think it's the Eclipse, so that's going in the program. It's just going to be called the Patriarchs. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's cool. I like it. I know, the, uh, I know that uh, ride. I remember that, sure. You know, I was just thinking while I listened this morning, the last time I was at Tarantula Leonero, you were there, and mm-hmm. you were out fishing with Mark, mm-hmm. and I swear to God, it seemed like you were getting four or five marlin every day. Didn't, didn't you get one striper around 200 pounds? Yeah, yeah, and uh, I did, uh, on the last trip, I did a, a blue, which I thought was really great, and uh, we did it on one, a really small reel, small accurate, of course. Uh, but yeah, we've had some amazing trips with Mark. Um, that was a Fury definitely. 500. Yeah, Fury 500. Wow, a blue, maybe a 250, something like that. That's you, awesome. You you promised to leave the, that was a prototype reel. You were going to leave that. You said, Mark, I'm leaving this reel. I want you guys to beat it up as bad as you can. And then he caught that blue marlin on it after catching endless stripers. And he says, No, this is going back to the laboratory. Good and I didn't get to, I didn't get to keep the reel. We, we got to check that thing. Just out. not fair, is yeah, it? Yeah, not fair. <laughs> well, Bart, nice to hear from you. We're very excited the upcoming show. I know both Jack and the Accurate Crew uh, and, of course, Mark Rayer, Jen Ren Sport Fishing will be a big part of it. And uh, we're, uh, of course, with our Let's Talk Hookup booth, we're, we'll be a, a big part of it, too, with our live broadcast at uh, the Hyatt Regency in Long Beach, both Saturday and Sunday. The good news is there's no time change on Sunday. Oh, uh, the, the following week, this week, so we'll be on the regular se- 7 to 9 a.m., live from the Hyatt Regency in Long Beach. And I I think we're working on having an entire fish and game panel or fish and wildlife panel on Sunday show, right, Bart? Yeah, I think that's a good deal if you want to do it. that's uh, yeah, They I all think... want to come. They're all really excited. So, um, so... And uh, that should be fun. And I know... Um, we're doing two seminars. You're doing the panel. Uh, you're the MC on the panel for the uh, fishing game, heads of the fishing game. And then we're doing another one with Commander Bess, who's in, in charge of law enforcement at a separate time. And he's going to talk about the partnership between uh, responsible anglers and uh, and the enforcement uh, division. So it's, uh, it's going to be really fun. And, and you know what? I'm just sitting here so excited to get to the show because... Here I am listening to all these people that that I love and on your show, and I can't wait to get there and tell stories with them when I get there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, Bart. And one, of the, one of the things you got to remember: Accurate is a sponsor of the Fred Hall shows, and um, and and we're giving away a pair of Accurate reels uh, at the end of the show. So, uh, so when you sign up at the beginning, you get to you get the twin reels from David and Doug, and uh, that's why we give a pair of them away. So we're very excited about that. Am I eligible? No, you're not eligible. Family <laughs> members are not eligible. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bart. Appreciate you, Bart. it. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way, including finding out what's going on. We got more local reports, all kinds of great information. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Cookup on the Mighty 1090. All the office.
Everyone likes special treatment. You know, kind of feel like a VIP. Well, that's how our listeners are treated at Poway Valley Collision. I have personally heard of several stories of how well our friends Jim and Mary take care of their customers that we sent them. Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them today, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And listen to this. Our listeners get a special discount that can save you hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. Just tell them you listen to the show and you get the deal. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, Wawanisa, and more. Just bring your car or truck to them and let Poway Valley Collision do the rest. I have had my truck repaired at Poway Valley Collision and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. Tell them you listen to Let's Talk Hookup and they'll save you money on your repair. Poway Valley Collision, 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. Imagine being home in the morning and fishing yellowtail and calicos at Cedros Island by the afternoon. Now you can with Cedros Adventures. Experience world-class yellowtail and calico fishing aboard comfortable pongas with local captains that know the island hotspots. Stay in Cedros Adventures' own private waterfront hotel and experience first-class meals and service with pickups in L.A., Orange, or San Diego County. You hop aboard a scheduled flight to Cedros Island to begin an incredible experience. Trips are all-inclusive and offer old-world hospitality and fantastic fishing. Cedros Adventures. Call 310-435-6353 or check CedrosAdventures.com for rates and more information. It's time for our Power Pro 60-second seminar. We've been talking about small reels, big fish, and that's when we talk about Power Pro, right, Rick? Power Pro in general is what changed the big fish, small reel concept. You know, now you can take a line and put a lot more of it on a smaller reel, so you're getting the same yardage out of a wide reel that you are out of a standard. Or, you know, now you're starting to be able to fish 30s where you're fishing 50s, now 12s instead of 30s. So that has been a big change. And with the advent this year of Max Quattro, it's changed yet again. 25% smaller diameter than the line of the previous size. So when you would normally fish 100 pounds, now you can fish 130, but get the diameter of 100 pounds, stack more line on. It's just, it has changed the game. Yeah, Max Quattro is amazing. And the casting ability of Max Quattro, it'll blow your mind. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. Max Quattro Power Pro at your favorite tackle store. If they don't have it, ask them to get it. Check PowerPro.com. Have you checked out the giant Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay yet? It's hard to miss right in the middle of Dana Landing across from SeaWorld in Mission Bay. This massive 5,500 square foot location is loaded with Hobie Mirage Drive kayaks and all the accessories. They also have a great selection of Hobie clothing, stand-up paddle boards, paddles, and more. Check out the new model Hobie kayaks arriving daily and see the great deals on previous year's models. Even test a kayak or stand-up paddle board right out their back door on Mission Bay. When it comes to Hobie kayaks, no one does it better than the crew at Fast Lane Kayaks at Dana Landing across from SeaWorld in Mission Bay. Check FastLaneSailing.com. Brace yourself for the next generation of Yamaha V6 Offshore Four Strokes. They're lighter, faster, stronger, smarter, and they're innovation award winners. These intimidating V6, 300, 250, and 225 horsepower Predators are engineered to be offshore tough. Still, Yamaha's lightweight design makes these outboards up to 73 pounds lighter than 300 horsepower competitors. They're also faster and smarter than their peers, up to 19% faster and up to 17% more fuel efficient at cruise RPM. Add all that to a powerful class-leading 4.2 liters of big bore V6 displacement and you have a definite competitive advantage. And now, these offboards are available with the advanced precision of Helmmaster, Yamaha's fully integrated boat control system. Power, precision, efficiency, reliability, the next generation of Yamaha V6 offshore four-strokes. They're miles ahead of the competition and they're at a dealer near you. Meet them today at your local Yamaha dealer. Hellmaster available with V6s purchased only as part of new boat packages from Boat Builder Partners. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Phones have been packed all morning, been a very busy show. Obviously, everybody wants to talk to Jack, talk to Mark, and also win those awesome prizes. Again, accurate piranha pliers, the highest end fishing plier you can have in your box. That great book, Tuna Smart by Robert Douglas. If you want your shot at those great prizes, or better yet, just to talk to Mark and maybe give Jack a hard time, 858 area code 457 1090. That's the local number. We do have one of those open. And for the first time in a while, we have a toll free number open again. 
That one's 877-792-1090. All right, let's jump into it, Rick. You got it, man. How about this time we talk to Dave? He's calling us from Mira Mesa this morning. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Morning, Dave. Oh, we lost Dave there. How about let's talk to Dan? Dan, you with us? Yes, I am. Uh, Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Good morning, and I have to fess up. I'm the guy that um, you took my call earlier, and I, I hung up. I'm getting to the age where I can't figure out how to operate a cordless phone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry All about good, that. Dan. No worries. Good morning. So I had a comment because I took a trip um, based on your guys' recommendations for Rancho Leonero. Had an awesome time, but I just like to fly carry-on. And on the way back, I had this inspector at, at uh, San Jose del Cabo Airport. She was probably 21 years old, and she said, hey, I'm sorry. I had a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. And she said, you can't take these on board. I said, why not? I brought them down. And she said, well, I'll check with the supervisor. And she came back. She said, sorry. And so I ended up having, luckily, enough time to run down and um, check them. Actually, I just checked my whole bag. But um, she said the rule is no tools. Yep. If they see something that they can classify as a tool, you can't bring it on carry-on. Yep. I think that's pretty standard, too. I mean, I, I know for sure. Well, I'm not for sure, but I don't think USTSA would allow a screwdriver. Well, no, I was I was allowed down with it. Really? Yeah, no problem. Okay. I had pliers, fishing pliers, and, a, and just a regular screwdriver in my carry-on. Interesting. You know, right. there, there again is just another another vote for going on an operation like Gen Random. You just don't need to worry about that stuff anymore. When that stuff is on the boat, it's just one less thing that you have to one yeah. less thing you have to think if, about. If they let you bring them down, just leave them with us. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they win these accurate Piranha pliers, right? <laughs> you don't want to be leaving those things there. Right. Well, sure. that's a good tip, yeah, Dan. Good info, we appreciate Dan. that call very much. Patrick G., our good buddy. Good morning, Patrick. Oh, yeah. Morning, Pete and Ricky. How are you? Hey, Patrick. Hey, great. Nice to hear from you. Good. Hey, I'm up here at the uh, Southwest Fly Fishing Tackle Show up in Cardiff. Pete, we talked about it uh, a month or so ago. Um, just ran into quite a few friends here, but there's a, a show that runs from 8 to 2 today. It's uh, not just fly fishing gear. It's all kinds of gear, rods, reels, lures, fly fishing stuff, uh, just anything to do with fishing. And I uh, just ran into our good friend, Mr. Pfeiffer, up here. Looking oh, for, nice. Looking for lures to collect. So just thought we'd uh, mention it. It's going today. It's at uh, the Cardiff Elementary High School Auditorium um, up here in Cardiff off Birmingham Avenue. And uh, just thought I'd uh, make a shout out if anybody's interested in any used or sample type fly gear, saltwater, freshwater. There's books. There's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, we're the place. That's cool. Very cool. All right. So it's in Cardiff, uh, which is North San Diego County, and it's uh, Cardiff Elementary School? Yes, that's correct. The directions are if you come up to 5, you get off at Birmingham, you go east to the very first street. It's called King's Cross. Uh, you make a left there, go up two blocks, make a right on Windsor, and it's right up on the left-hand side, Cardiff Elementary School. Very nice. Cool. Patrick, always nice to hear from you. I appreciate the call and the tip there. Thanks. All right, guys, thanks. Thanks See a lot. See you, Patrick. Have a good show. All right. 858-457-1090 open right now. You want to get... Through Talk the East Cape, there's your chance. Doug in Montebello, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Doug. Hi. Uh, two, maybe two questions here. On the line, uh, do you guys buy a certain brand of line? And then, two, when the, you guys pick the lures, are you picking them, or will the passengers pick a lure for themselves? Is that, That's directed to me? Yeah. Um, we, we we use Moy Moy. Um, I'm really happy with it. it it's not... It's not as popular on the West Coast, but it's huge on the East Coast, um, and and we've been really really happy with it. I, I'm happy it's strong, and good quality, and I highly recommend it. I know that Milton's has it, and um, and then you use uh, for flu- I know you always have cigar fluorocarbon on the boat. Yes, too. yeah. So yeah, we're combination big combination of that. Yes, um, but the monofilament we're, we're using the the. Moy Moy, okay. high catch. Moy Moy. Right. And and as far as the lures go, um, both ways. I mean, if we have something that's working really well, uh, you know, we recommend it. But 
man, when each boat has hundreds, and, and I'm not exaggerating, of Marlinors. And if, of the three, so the three boats you have, you have hundreds of lures between the three boats. Yes. Now, when you're using the three boats, will you move tackle around, move lures around, like one, or would would it be specific to to the captain? The cap, that's kind of the captain's call. Well, with all boats are equipped; they're so equipped, you don't have to move anything around. I mean, I I might call on the other boats and say, "Hey, we're we're killing them on a da 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 da," and most likely they'll have one of those. On the other, the da 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 da. That's da, da, a very da, da, popular. Da, da, da. That's a very well, popular. That was a lure. really good marlin lure. That da da da. da. <laughs> no, but, yeah. but they 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 they're all so well equipped. But um, if you want to bring your own lures and you want to pull them, that's fine. People have their favorite lure, and I'm always game to to try something different. We we absolutely don't know it all. Yeah. So you you've got hundreds of days trolling marlin lures in the East Cape. Hundreds. What? If you had to put your your finger on a favorite, what's your favorite marlin lure to troll down there? The petrolero. 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 Petrolero pattern. Yeah, which is like a squid, right? Yes. Yeah. Which, Are the giant squids still around? Haven't seen them. Well, we haven't been able to catch them in a couple of years. Once in a while, offshore, we'll see one floating dead, but we just haven't been able to locate them and catch them. Hmm. What about size? Zucker 3.5, a 5.5? Do you like a different manufacturer? What's your what's what's the favorite uh, head style? Zucker is extremely consistent. And they they and the 3.5 and the 5.5, the, the, the people think that a 5.5 would be too big to fish for stripers and sailfish. Absolutely not the case. But it depends what they're on. Sometimes will they they'll even the big blues will we'll be catching big blues and they'll be biting like a little tuna clone size lure sometimes they'll be biting the big lures it's kind of that's fishing it's yeah. whatever whatever's happening um is what we do and if and if we're not getting bit then we're changing it up that's cool um, on the da 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 is there a color you like on that the da 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 lure <laughs> is that anything she, particular well, i kind of like the mean joe green okay. you know mean and joe the, green and the da 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 and it, <laughs> it, it, it that that's another interesting point is we'll have people and they'll come and they'll say oh, i had one guy said why are you pulling that Mean Joe Green? I never get bit on Mean Joe Green. Oh. Okay, well, how many Mean Joe Greens do you pull? Well, I never pull them because they never they get, get bit. bit. Never yeah, get yeah, bit. Yeah. Why would I pull that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the Wahoo lure, right? You know why? Is Tony the Tiger the most popular, right? Because that's the one that everybody pulls, right? <laughs> that's it. Mexican flag feathers, the only one that gets bit. It's the only thing we troll. <laughs> what about hook sets? You know, if you ask, if you get a group of five Marlin guys together and ask them what the best hook set, like as far as number of hooks and style of hooks to put in their skirt, if you ask five guys, you'll probably get seven different answers. What do you? What kind of hook set do you like inside your Marlin jig? Single hook? Do you like two? Two singles, like how do you oh, how do you like set that up? Um, we most of our stuff is double hooks, mm-hmm. um, and we mostly use three hundred pound monofilament, and we tie knots. We don't use crimps. We don't crimp anything. It's it's all knots. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of different theories about that, but the knots don't fail. Uh, it, it, there's there's no margin margin for error if you don't crimp it just right. Uh, I had a client last year that had a uh, a usuri that he a usuri marauder type lure that he had the tackle store rig for him a tackle store and he caught a nice wahoo on it and the crimp slipped. Man, was he upset. Um, we just don't use that setup. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one thing uh, while we're talking about rigging, I, I want to mention, uh, thanks for the call, Doug. That does free up, by the way, 877 1090 You want to get through, there's your chance. Um, taking, uh, buying a lure or taking current lures you have to a professional tackle store like Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Um, you guys rig marlin lures, uh, wahoo lures, uh, whatever lure it might be. You live, rig those all day long. You know exactly how to rig those lures. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we do. This wahoo phenomenon was kind of a fun deal for us. Wahoo fishing is something that we do all of, you know, all the time because, you know, we're the home of long-range boats. So when it comes to making whatever it is, bait leaders, marauder leaders, harnesses, whatever it may be, it's something we do. So when that local thing happened this year, it was fun because we got to kind of showcase our skills a little bit, and the boys at the shop are good. I mean, they really, really are. We rig big fish tackle every single day all the time, and, and I'll say it, man, the guys that work in that store, they are 
they are as top as top gets. Yeah, yeah. They, they do a really good job. No you know, doubt we, we about it. We pride ourselves so, on it. Yeah, and, and that's why, you know, uh, Fisherman's Landing Tackle's pretty amazing. You see them rigging all the time. That, that, you, Ryan, all the boys. Another thing that I know it's a pet peeve for some people, they'll get on a boat, and the first thing the deckhand does is cut off all their knots and yes, every time. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I've, seen, I've had that happen. <laughs> yeah. We don't jack you too. We we are a little more respectful than that. If if there's if there's something in your gear that you've brought that looks suspect to us, sure. we'll bring it to you and you go, what do you think about this? You know, do you want to go with this or do you want us to redo it? You're not going to turn around and find all your gear all cut apart and, <laughs> and redone. Uh, we, we, yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, no, yeah, I've, I've had that oh, happen. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you know they have their deal. You know they don't. Sure. A lot of times in the East Cape, they don't like not. They don't like crimps. Well, they, we're more open minded. Yeah, you know that, that's up. That's <laughs> yeah. that's your decision. That's a good thing. Yeah. Hey, let's jump back in those phones. You got it, man. Kenny in Hawaiian Gardens. You're up next on Let's Talk Cook Up. What's up, Kenny? Hey, morning, guys. Morning. morning. I had uh, two morning. quick questions. Um, one of them was I heard. I think there's a the Pow- Lake Poway Kids Fishing Derby's going on today. Or- yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, event call. is happening right now. Yeah, have you heard any information on anything yet? I haven't heard any reports, but they certainly have a beautiful day for the event, no question about it. I love the way they do that, too. They load the lake. They do like a double stock of trout on Wednesday or Thursday, and then they close the lake until this morning. So, yeah. they, you know, let those things acclimate. Nobody gets a chance to fish them. Can you imagine it, how good those Oh, It makes for some good fishing. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, definitely. Hey, and the second question is, uh, you know, I used to hear people like donating their lines and stuff. The line, their old line and stuff, and on the return home, you know, uh, and clothing and stuff like that. You still doing that? Uh, some of those smaller operations. Uh, you mean like if you're traveling to Mexico? Yeah, if you're coming, like on your, you know, you're going home, you know, and uh, since you can't take the line on the on your uh, bags and stuff like that, uh, just donating it. And uh, I'm sure there's pack, people that would appreciate uh, coolers full of clothes, and then you know, leave those behind and use the coolers for the fish. Yeah, well, clothing never goes to waste, for sure, any operation. The line is a little bit more of a difficult thing. I, yeah, you could take your line off and put it on a on a water bottle or something, and I'm sure somebody would use it. It's When we're, we're changing our top shots all the time, and I have some of the other operators asking me for, my, for our old top shots uh, because we're changing them. So none of it's going to go to waste. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right. How about next up? We talk to John. He's calling from Mira Mesa. What's up, John? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hey. Um, this is for Jack. Jack, I've got a, an older one of your boss reels. It's got a wake up, Jack. I guess it was a special edition, like uh, anodizing, uh, like a blue flake. Yeah. And um, I was just wondering, is that something that's still available, or special order, or? What, what's it, the story on that? Those type of reels uh, colors are special, uh, not special order, but. A limited edition. So uh, typically the guys will do that around Christmas time. They'll have limited edition, special color combination kind of thing. And um, if you can never get one and you have one, hang on to it because th- those are collectibles. They're not something you can get just at any time. There you go. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. I will say I know that the reels have kind of went through a, a, a redo and that there are some accent colors. Oh, yeah. That the, the reels are the best looking that they've yeah. looked Ever, you know, and yeah. I know that uh, some of the series, because you know, there's several several series that are very that are maybe similar looking on the outside, but different on the inside. Now it's real easy to differentiate the two between yep. each other. You right. know, killer looking handles and drag levers and all those things. Have... Multiple colors for uh, the components, sure. You bet, Mario and Rancho Cucamonga. Good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. I'd like to talk. Uh, I got a question from Mark about. Um... Uh, tuna jigs. Uh, do you prefer pulling something that's skirted or marauder type? And if you had to pull just one jig when you're searching for tuna, uh, what would it be? And what question. size? If I could only pull, well, if I could only pull one, it would probably be a Halco Laser Pro, Pro 190. That has been the most killer lure for us. But, but um, there's a lot of different good jigs. A, a tuna clone type jig um, is good. The the like a hoochie, four inch hoochie, um, works really good for all different size. Uh, the 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 thing about the stick bait type, either a, a, a Rapala or a Uzari or a uh, Halco, is that after we get bit, if that jig doesn't get bit first, as the boat slides, a lot of times it'll 
get bit later. It, it's man, they're just deadly. And and given the opportunity, I'll try to turn the boat down current so that we don't have to wind that jig in right away. If the boat's drifting down current, a lot of times, way later, when you wouldn't think you'd get a bite, we'll get that bite on another tuna. Okay. And, or you're winding it in or something like that. Oh, there he is, right yeah, there. Yeah, but I don't want to wind it in right away. I don't away. want to wind no, it in. No, I'll, I'll wind in the tuna clones and, and the other lures because they're going to sink and they're going to get in the way and they're going to be a problem. But that that uh, that stick bait will continue to work. It's going to continue to wiggle if it's got a little bit of current. And oh. and sometimes they don't have to be going very fast. they got a little bit of wiggle, and they'll get bit. And, and how I'm, I'm how not, fast do you troll? We usually troll about just over six knots. Okay. Not super fast, then. No, we, we troll slow. And when, when we get into the tuna, we're into the porpoise, we'll, I'll slow down. I'll slow down to almost idle speed to, to like five knots 5.2 when we're in them i'll i'll, I'll slow down and get in rather than blasting the boat through them and and it just it, a lot of the tuna um are not only line shy but i think they're they're boat shy and they hear the boat noise and and the more you can work them and the slower you go and the less noise you make and the less erratic you are uh I think the better chance you have. A lot of times, we we if the if the porpoise move away, I'll try to catch up to them or without throttling the boat up to get there. Um, and other boats don't. Other boats go through chopping them up and drive them down, and it makes it more difficult for the guys that are trying to go slow and trying to finesse the fish up. Yeah, and 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 that just sends them right down, huh? Yes. Yeah. So you use other methods. You mentioned earlier in the show kite fishing, very unique. Uh, for the East Cape, because not a lot of boats are using kites, right? No, and it's one of my most fun things oh, to do. Okay. The, the visual, when the, usually we're catching larger fish, not always, but, but usually we're catching larger fish. We're fishing them further away from the boat. And when that fish comes up, when a tuna comes up and, and hits the yummy or whatever we're trolling, the visual is just something, Accurate. something yeah. to say. And, really and you'll is. get bites a lot of time when the other guys have already pounded them down. Yes, on the kite because it's a little stealth. Oh, it's a lot more stealthy, right? Well, be, I I think it's because it's further away from the boat. Yeah, We're so fishing the away. kite way far away from the boat, and the 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 noise from the boat isn't disturbing the fish, and the fish won't come to the boat. But here's a flying fish jumping way out, way far away from yeah. the boat, and kawam, there it goes. You're talking like outside the boat wake even, and think about when the boat, you know, when you get way far away from the boat, that wake spreads farther and farther, and you're still all the way outside the wake. It's just it's just out on its own, yeah. nothing nothing going on here. And I know this you're sponsored by AFCO, and you're flying those AFCO kites too, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a nice kite. Yes, yeah, it depending is. on the wind conditions and such like that, you can change the spars, fly them out there. You yes. do that a lot? You kite fish a lot? Uh, when the conditions are right, you know, we will. Uh, Even when Jack's on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, we don't fish for tuna much with Jack. We're fishing for for marlin. He's a, he's a billfish guy. He's a billfish guy. I was trying to take a nap guy. over and you woke me up. <laughs> and the, and the, it's funny because the marlin are exactly the opposite of the, as the tuna. The marlin are not boat shy at all. They'll come up and, and chew on the swim step practically. Uh, they're going to bite or they're not going to bite it. You don't have to get the, boat, the bait away from the boat. They, a lot of of uh, anglers go, well, God, aren't you trolling the lures close to the boat? The, the, the marlin will come to the yeah. boat. They will. You can hand feed them practically. What's the tackle difference like between fish, hooking a marlin on your, you know, skirted trolling lures and like your, your bait rods, your drop back bait rods? How does the, the rod or reel differ? Um, we're using lighter tackle on the bait gear usually. The, the, the drop back, uh, we're going to, we're going to use a smaller, lighter tackle than we're going to use when we're trolling. You, you typically need more line. You got more line out for starters trolling because the jig's further back, and uh, we don't want to lose those precious jigs. So we're using a little, heavy, <laughs> a little heavier tackle than we're using for a drop back. Indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. You know, one one more time, the, we didn't really talk about your three boats, but I real real briefly talk about the three the different three boats in the Gen Ren Sport Fishing Fleet. The well, the first boat that I had was Gen Ren, and it's a thirty-one Innovator twin engine, twin diesel engine, twin diesel engine. Beautiful boat. It's got new Cummins engines in it. Fast. It's got all uh, Simrad electronics. All three of the boats all have two touchscreen um, GPS multifunction plotters on the boats. 
and all Simrad electronics, all Simrad electronics on all three boats. And they're the it's the, it, once you've had a touchscreen, you'll never go oh, back. Yeah. No I mean, doubt about it. Yeah. And the new Evo three, the new Evo touchscreen, phenomenal, Simrad, unbelievable. They're they're unbelievable. they're just phenomenal. Yeah. And having the 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 plotter. It just it changes life. I mean, yeah, it just it, sure. just it it just really does. And then the two Cabos, you have two Cabo thirty five flybridges. Yes, yeah, which are just also amazing boats. So and that's they, kind of the Gen Ren fleet. They have air conditioning. All three boats for for ladies that come along, they all have a full restroom with a porcelain flush toilet, fresh water systems, yep. um, comfort. It's real comfortable. They all have XM radio on them to listen to. Uh, to um, satellite radio, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack just, make Jack happy. Yeah, well, I got my fifties and sixties music. You yeah, know. you go I Brit- hear that stuff. My girlfriend Brittany and I went to the East Cape for the first time, and the first offshore trip she went on was on the Vicara, and she said, "I didn't realize that fishing was like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize fun. this is what it's, you guys it, do it's down fun here. Stuff. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, if if you're if you're one of the guys, and you know you're just going to bring your wife or girlfriend down one time. Just to uh, because to appease them, don't bring them on our boats because they're going to want to come back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when, when we come back, we got a lot more. Let's talk hookup coming your way. We're going to find out who's winning those awesome accurate pliers and tuna smart by Robert Douglas. More let's talk hookup on the mighty ten ninety. Get it all at Dana Landing in Mission Bay. It's truly the one stop shop for a great day on the water. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Landing had you covered with several boats, including the new Blackjack, perfect for two to four anglers, and the Impulse that will carry up to six anglers in comfort and style. Dana Landing has a huge tackle shop with everything you need to go fish bay bass, tuna, or marlin, plus expert anglers on staff to help. They even have Mexican and California fishing licenses and reel repair. The deli at Dana Landing is a local's favorite with all the food, ice, and beverages you need. When it comes to freshwater tackle, East County Bait and Tackle is the spot for a great day on the lake. The ultimate in rods and reels, the latest freshwater lures and live bait. ECBT has a staff second to none when it comes to sharing their passion for fishing. ECBT is at the end of the 67 freeway on Maple View in Lakeside, and Dana Landing is right across from SeaWorld next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Check DanaLanding.com for more details. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the Long Range Fishing Experience. A spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back, 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long-range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalStar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalStar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state of the art, I always recommend CalStar at fine tackle stores everywhere. No matter the fishing conditions, count on the Seaguar family of fluorocarbon leader material to help you catch more fish. Fluoro Premier has a smaller diameter with the highest break strength. Plus, it is super soft. When bites are tough, tie on Fluoro Premier. Blue Label is tough as nails with incredible abrasion resistance and impact strength. And new Pink Label is the choice for tough light conditions, giving you a little more visibility for better line control. Pick up a spool of Seaguar at your favorite tackle dealer or visit Seaguard.com. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. The best NFL coverage is right here. Uh, inside the pylon for a touchdown. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, the winner of Tuna Smart, that awesome book that Jack's brought to all of our attention from Robert Douglas, is going to Mario in Rancho Cucamonga and the accurate Piranha Pliers, Mike in El Cajon. Mike, congratulations. There is not a nicer set of pliers out there. Yeah, indeed, indeed, and not a nicer set of guys than these two guys right here. Uh, Mark Rayer, Gen Ren Sport Fishing. Uh, looking forward to seeing you at the Fred Hall Long Beach. I'm looking forward to being there. We yeah. have, we're going to have some show specials. Show specials, yeah. Show, show specials. Show specials. It's, gonna, <laughs> it's going to be special, yes. Yeah, and in the meantime, if you want to book some dates, like there are some open dates for 
our Let's Talk Hookup tournaments, both Rancho Leonero as well as Palmas de Cortez, on the Gen Ren, the Team Gen Ren spots. Uh, how do we book a spot, or any time in these cases? Go into our website, teamgenren.com is best. It has my telephone number, but you're welcome to call also, 310-308-5841. And will Jack be down there with us? Jack will be down there. He's going to be there in May. He's going to be there in September. He's going to be there in, in October. October. <laughs> Sensing a pattern I, I here. I hope my wife's listening, so she's getting fair warning of all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Jack, looking forward to seeing you at Fred Hall, of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. You'll be there. And uh, looking forward to having you uh, report from the Royal Polaris when you leave on your we trip will. on Monday. I'm going to tell you about my 300-pound-plus fish. Okay, I'll I've be got waiting. got it ordered up already. I'll <laughs> be waiting. And I'll, speaking of the Royal Polaris, tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m., it's going to be a super Sunday with Captain Frank Lopresti of the Royal Polaris right here.